Well, hello everybody. Welcome to 3 2 on Kiteboarding and today is um, Wednesday and we've been wanting to do something a little different. We don't always get a chance to kind of invite you into our home and say hi so we wanted to start a new segment called What's Up Wednesday uh, and What's Up Wednesday is just going to be my thoughts of the week. So whether it's uh, what's going on with family, kids, kiteboarding, the shop, we're just going to let you into it. It's going to be real short and uh, just our way of saying hello to everybody out there. So um, I was doing my daily reading the other day and uh, picked up a magazine and just remembered how much I love kiteboarding. And if you've been in kiteboarding for a while, maybe you've kind of forgotten what it's like to be a new kiteboarder or those passions that really first got you going. And for me, you know, running a kite shop every day, being around all of this wonderful stuff um, can kind of grind you down a little bit, can kind of make you not go kiting as much as normal, find excuses, you know, not to uh, actually get out and, and enjoy the community that we so longed to have when we first started kiteboarding. But it had been a while since I picked up a, a kiteboarding magazine and I started reading articles and I, man, I'll tell you, I caught that feeling that I got when I very first started to, uh, to kiteboard. And it's just an excitement, you know, wanting to get out and kite every day. Um, so if you haven't lately, pick up a kiteboarding magazine, watch a kiteboarding video, uh, you know, get that stoke back. If it's been a couple of, of days or weeks before your, you know, since your last uh, kite session, uh, get something to stoke you up. It'll make you happier and make sure your outlook on life a lot better. Um, so that's my what's up, my what's up tip number one. Go get a magazine, read it, or if you're local, you know, stop in, grab one. We give them out anyway. Um, and then my last thing is just a simple, shameless product uh, promotion for everybody. It's uh, something that we found that's really cool, and we've been looking for it again, kind of on the theme of when we started kiteboarding. When we first started kiteboarding, we tried everything you could think of to make our lines last longer. We tried candle wax. We tried surf wax. Um, we even tried melting wax onto our lines and our chicken loop lines and nothing ever really worked. You know, we'd have our engineering friends bring bow string wax and, and bees wax and you name it. We tried it all. Um, but a short nine or ten years later, there's finally a product on the market um, and this is liquid wax for kite lines. And the stuff is pretty phenomenal, um, but honestly, regardless of what's in the bottle, no matter how magic it is, the nice thing is their little applicator tip. Uh, you just stick your line in there and you run it through. It takes all of like a minute to do one line, so four or five minutes to do all of them. And it literally makes your lines look brand new. It's pretty amazing. You could take an old raggedy, you know, frayed looking bar and line set and you can make it look new. But really the key to using something like this line wax is to use it often so that your lines actually stay new. Um, but anyway, that's cool new product of the week. Um, so to recap, for anybody that joined us, all, all two of you, but hey, episode one unannounced, we're gonna be doing this every Wednesday. Um, basically, wanna say hi, show you guys around the shop. You get to see the back wall today. Um, and just tell you my thoughts for what's up Wednesday. So my thoughts were simply get stoked on kiteboarding again. You know, and if you're brand new to kiteboarding, you know, it's an exciting sport. I mean, you can do it anywhere, you can travel with it, and, uh, and you, can, you can meet people that you never would have, you know, thought to meet. We have people that kite on Richard Branson's island and literally have met him at the beach kiteboarding. And to him, everybody's just a cool kiter. So, you know, billionaires and people able to travel to billionaire islands, you know, you can, uh, you can all just bond over kiteboarding. So, uh, hope you had a great week. I plan on having a really good week. Looks like there's wind this weekend, uh, and the temperature should still be in the 70s here in Cocoa Beach, Florida. So, not too bad of a, a situation we've got going on here. And that's What's Up Wednesday with Roman, 321 Kiteboarding. Thanks for joining, guys. Peace out.